before he's violent, very explosive off the ball. Um, you can just tell, you know, his quickness off the ball. Being able to push the D-line or the O-line back and, and create space for me to, to run through, it's been, it's been awesome. <coughs> How was the uh, scrimmage over the weekend? Like you said, the yeah. defense won the day. Oh yeah, it was fine, man. We came out, we came out firing. You know, everyone was, you know, locked in. You could tell, you know, everyone was, you know, going on the field expecting a three and out. Um, you know, D line played great. DBs played great. Um, you know, linebackers, man. We flew around yesterday, uh, made a lot of plays. Um, yeah, man. We we you know, defense won yesterday for sure. You could tell. You could feel the, you know, the, the energy on our side was a lot more, you know, than, than the offense. One of the interesting us. comments you had was you weren't here last year, but right. you felt like you were a part. And right. they said one of the comments was one of the reasons that they were like that they finished up the way they did was because you weren't here. It was your fault for not being here. Yeah, Coach Wiley, Coach Wiley says that to us all the time. All the new transfers, when we go on, you know, in the weight room, he's like, you know, we're ranked maybe whatever, the 118. Um, mm -hmm. And we had to do all the extra lift with them too because we weren't there. So, you know, being able to, you know, feel the pain, you know, that they feel and then be able to put it in, you know, into the weight room. Um, you know, we watched film the whole games. You know, I, I personally watched them play Utah um, back home. So, you know, personally, I was already committed then. So, you know, I still had, you know, being home, had hard feelings about that game. So, um, yeah, last season, just, just being able to finish, man, I think, you know, we, we, got, we got a chip on our shoulder for that. You talked about watching that Utah film and noticing kind of the physicality wasn't what right. it needed to be. Right. How much progress do you think you guys have made as you stand right here? Man, I mean, if you guys were here yesterday, man, you would have seen it, you know? It was dominance. Um, you know, a lot of guys stepping up to the plate, doing the job, uh, being really aggressive and physical, you know? Man, we looked, we looked great and strong. A lot of strong dudes out there, you know, corners breaking on, um, you know, screens and, 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 and punishing dudes. So, you know, we got a lot of, a lot of weight room, you know, it paid off. Maybe you no, can more, a... no more fingernail tackles? No more fingernail tackles, man. No more. Maybe you can put in a good word for us to get out here for a scrimmage one time. I know. Uh, I would love for you guys to be out here, you know. It'd be, then you guys don't have to ask me questions. So you you go. Go. <laughs> so, I'm going to ask you one more question. Yeah. Uh, in the linebacker room, we don't hear, uh, we don't hear a lot about Garrison Madden. What can you right. talk about? What you see from him? Uh, gee, man, you know he's he's a he's a student of the game. Um, always asking me questions. Um, you know, I love helping that guy. Um, but his growth from the spring to now, man, it's you know he's one of those guys that are stepping up to you know to get get some playing time on the field, and he wants it, and you can tell. Um, but yeah, man, he's always looking to, to fix his mistakes and and grow as a kid. So, um, man, love that kid, love him. Lincoln Riley talked about some of the position battles and being really close, especially you know, from last year. Guys who right. were starting last year might not right. be doing that this year. What have you seen from the defense from some of the um, position battles? Man, it's, it's been up and down. You know, a lot of guys will, you know, have certain really good days and, and some won't. And there's, you know, Solomon Bird, man, he, I think two days in a row he had four sacks. Wow. So, you know, guys like that just coming out of the works. Um, yeah, man, you know, everyone's got to step up the game. And I think, you know, those guys coming up and playing their best, it pushes those guys that, you know, previous starters to, you know, put a little more effort in. I think everyone's pushing each other. Um, that's overall what the competition does here, for sure. What letter grade would you give the defense right now, and why would you say? Ooh, today, I don't know, today was a rough day. Um, but I think, you know, I would I would give us a B-plus right now. Overall? Overall, yeah. I think there's a lot more we can, you know, we can do in these next couple of weeks, um, you know, to, to eventually be, you know, one of the top defenses in the country. How do you get to that A minus A? What I would say just consistency. You know, we we had a good day yesterday. Today wasn't so good. Like we can't have days like that. It's got to be, you know, either we we stay stagnant or we go up. We can't, you know, take a step down. Um, and you know, we know that as a defense, today was today was one of those days. Have you noticed a difference in the staff? Lincoln Riley talked about how this is a big week, and the next week right. is really kind of go time, right. not game week. Yeah, I, I think, man, you know, it's awesome. The staff is, is really in tune, and um, you know, they they today they talked about you know this week is really important. You know, a lot of guys will oh last week of fall camp, like I'm just gonna kind of stretch it out, but nah, man, every day has got to be more and more and more if you want you know to to be where we want to go. What about today? Wasn't good. Um, I would.